everybody, welcome back. It's that time of the week again, that time where we sit down and we watch the latest episode of The Walking Dead, then I cut together the best of my reactions, and we come on back, have a little mini review slash geek out about it. So, um, last week's was really good, I thought. You know, we had all the stuff with Rick and Negan and their little fight, and Rick with Lucille and setting her on fire and all that stuff. Uh, the great twist at the end, or the, sh not twist, but the reveal at the end that uh, Jada now has Negan. I'm anxious to see where that goes. Simon trying to betray Negan, Dwight kind of stuck in a rock and a, between a rock and a hard place. So, um, you know, all that cool stuff was going on, and it made the show a lot of fun. Um, especially the Rick and Negan stuff, and Negan finding out about the trash people uh, from Rick. I think that's pretty interesting, and I'll be anxious to see if that goes anywhere. Um, all the guts and stuff. I guess they're heading over to Hilltop. They've got the poisoned weapons, if you will, and uh, hopefully that'll that'll be something cool that we will get to. Um, but yeah, so again, it was a really good episode after one that was kind of eh, you know. So uh, let's hope we get another really good one tonight, because I guess we only have three more this season, right? This is 13, then 14, 15, 16. Four more this season? Three, four more this season, including tonight. Okay. Um, well, cool. Well, I'm looking forward to it, so let's get to it, shall we? Let's watch. You know what it is. No! Amputations? No, but I can figure it out. I'm strong enough to hold someone down who hasn't been anesthetized. I can figure it out. Can you shoot a gun? More importantly, can you shoot a gun while you're holding someone down? I'm pretty sure I know enough to... Really? <laughs> Because it sounds to me like you don't know enough of anything. And in my experience, people who don't know enough are more dangerous than people who don't know shit. There's a lot I haven't done. I know that. So stop asking me what I've done and start telling me what to do. Besides where to put the damn blankets. I like you. <laughs> Cool. Simon, with whom do I have the distinct displeasure of speaking? Maggie. Maggie Ree. The widow. <laughs> well then. Hello again, Widow Ree. And B. Figure out their own shit when said outcome eventuates, which in the end is my way of saying, screw them. Do <laughs> you really think that cockamamie play would work? The plan has changed. Our goal is not merely infection, it is conclusion. We are doing away with these people. All of them. This isn't what they want. You know that, right? You sure you want to face that with him if he shows? Better to beg forgiveness than ask permission, D. Future problems. Thank <laughs> you. 
his whole life. If he were here, if I stuck with him when he left, we'd be with the Saviors too. Or some other group just like him. But I figured out who they were, just like you did. Maybe that's what happened to Dwight. Is that before or after he killed your girl? Or is that all square now? It is. You're a good leader. I knew it before. But last night, you saved the gates, you saved the community, you saved lives. Because they sacrificed theirs. I only saved the prisoners because Negan's still in play. I sent Negan that body in a box to make him mad. To lure him here. Even if it came at a cost. I don't know if that makes me a good leader. I do know that. The only regret I have is that Negan is not in that pile of bodies. Well, if I'd known getting stabbed and get your attention, I would have done it a lot sooner. <laughs> And that was right about the time that it felt like, like, like maybe it wasn't, like maybe it wasn't going to be pretending anymore. Maybe. Well, that just might be one of the nicest things anybody's ever said to me. After that. I guarantees. You give it to me and we can talk. Huh? Rick, I need you to talk. Yeah. <laughs>
Can't shoot through a fence, you know. Three. Four. Oh! Had it? Hmm. Okay, so there you have it, the latest episode of The Walking Dead. Um, I do feel like first I need to say that I am still enjoying this show, but it is very frustrating. The writing in this episode was very frustrating. Not like in a characters make dumb choices mode, although we'll get to some of that, but in a like, wow, they've just like, what? Okay. So, um, I mean, you know, look, it's still fun. It's still good. <laughs> you know, like, I mean, I, I love Sharknado movies, so I'm going to conti continue to like The Walking Dead, but um, wow. <sighs> so, okay, the kid, I totally believe because he's a dumb kid, even though why the fuck would you ever open that fence? He's like trained. He should know better. Second, where the hell did he get the key? I saw him take the gun. Sure. Um, Rick and Michonne barely in this thing. The, but the whole zombie thing at the end. Well, okay, let's let's go back. The savior attack was pretty cool, except um, if they had <laughs> if they had like a wall of machine guns basically inside, pointing at the only way in and out through the gates, and then they had a team come up from outside through the gates. Why did that team come in and leave the gates? Un I mean, like, why not just hold both sides of the gate so they're either running in or running out or taken prisoner? And I mean, it just seems you know. But then you don't have a show. Um, just tactically, that seems like the thing to do. It was interesting to see Jesus in the show, even though he never had a line. Uh, I think this is the first time we've seen him this half of the season. Um, Tara, I kind of believe her forgiveness, but I don't believe Daryl being that. Like, it just seemed like such an extreme juxtaposition. I know neither one of them had completely forgiven Dwight, but I don't know, that just felt a little awkward to me. Um, who the fuck was this new doctor? Like, having a doctor was a big deal in this universe. Where did this new doctor lady come from who was there just to get killed? Uh, just to be a writer's convenience. And then also, she gets bit here, not in the vocal cords, she screams a little. I'm sorry, if I'm getting bit, like, eaten by a zombie, I'm screaming the fuck out of pain. We're gonna alert people. Also, where are the guards? Where are the watch? Where's anybody? You know, I mean, I get it. The guy in the infirmary fell asleep, he wasn't supposed to. Okay, that's the one spot, but who's watching the prisoners. <laughs> um, okay, I kind of understand one of the prisoners being bit, kind of. I really have to stretch to justify it, but okay, fine. Um, oh my god. I really thought the nice prisoner is going to turn. They better not be trying to make him a love interest for Maggie. Maggie, I'm sorry Maggie doesn't get a love interest. I'm sorry, it just doesn't happen. And then after all the zombie out, and then, god, the one zombie falling down the stairs, that way to break a moment of tension just by making me laugh, you know? <laughs> like, that should be a tense moment, but no. Um, I do like that. Okay, and then of course, are we really supposed to believe that that we are we really supposed to think? Do they really believe the audience is going to think that Tara got poisoned? I mean, like they played that like this dramatic moment, like oh, but we know that's not the case. So I mean, that doesn't play. <sighs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not trying to just crap on it. I did enjoy things. Um, you know, Simon bringing back the whistle. Maggie's plan was really cool. The whole battle, the actual war, an actual bit of war. That was really, really cool. Um, you know, uh, even the zombie attack was cool. And it was a neat idea to kind of do, you know, the, the hidden poison to bombs. But again, that many injured people are still in the zombie apocalypse. Even if it is just a little scratch, like you know, maybe keep somebody what watch or keep them separated from everybody else. You know what I'm saying? It's just, and then all the badass fighters are all hanging out in the crib room, you know, <laughs> while they're clearing the house, like half the badass fighter crew. I'm like, why aren't they outside on watch? But 
anyways, um, I did enjoy a lot of this episode, even though there are a lot of things that very much frustrated me in the writing of this episode. It is just, this was like just the most convenience after convenience after convenience episode I've seen of The Walking Dead in a long time. And uh, it's aggravating, but let's hope it gets better. It looks like Fear of the Walking Dead is going to get great, so maybe, maybe that'll be the thing now. I don't know. But anyways, we got a few more episodes until we have the finale, which leads into the premiere of Fear of the Walking Dead. I am a little interested in what they're, in what they're gonna do with Morgan. I like that he's being haunted by ghosts again, and they brought back that other uh, savior captain, so I do like that. Um, you know, and then I like the whole Rick and Sadiq thing. You know, I like what they're trying to do with that, and the new theme Bear McCrary's created for Rick and his heartbreak over Carl. And, uh, you know, the stuff with Rick and Michonne. There was a really badass moment, a two-for-fight moment with uh, Jesus and, and Michonne kicking a, some zombie ass in there, so that was really nice. The zombie gore, you couldn't really see any of it. It's just too dark, so can't really get too excited about that. But, you know, all in all, um, it's just another brick in the wall. Uh, I don't know. Uh, all in all, I mean, it, I don't hate this episode, but I was annoyed by this episode. But... Not as good as last week's, I guess because just no Negan. But anyways, I'll shut up there. I'll stop. You guys, uh, let me hear what you have to say. I imagine a lot of you agree with it. Uh, I'm not giving up on the show. I'm going to watch the show all the way through. You know, I've been there since the beginning. So, but um, hopefully it'll get better. Fingers crossed. What do you guys think? What was your favorite thing? What was your most aggravating thing of this show? Um, you know, who are you? I was I actually really liked the stuff with Carol. And was it Tobin? And honestly, I freaked out for a minute there because if you know, I feel like I can tell you about this. This is a comic death that you don't want to know, jump on out, but it happened way early in the comics. Carol is very different in the comics than she is here. Um, ready for spoiler? Here we go. She died in the prison in the comics. She just gave up on life and like she had lost everything and they had like a zombie tied to a chain or something and like she walks over and just lets it eat him, eat her. And I, I had a moment there when I thought, oh, she just confessed like all this heartfelt stuff earlier and like the heartbreak of seeing this man turn into a zombie, I thought, oh, she's just gonna give up and let him eat him, eat her right there. Um, I'm kind of glad they didn't do that, but it would have been shocking and fucking kind of cool. But anyways, all right, so that's all. But let me know what you guys think about it, and I definitely look forward to hearing your comments on this one. Other than that, you can click the thumbs up button, give me the good old thumb of encouragement, as I do love to be encouraged. And I guess I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna go watch some hopefully better written stuff, and I'll see you all later.